Hey guys, this is going to be our um, sales podcast discussion. Um, just leaving a one to two minute uh, video response about uh, our thoughts on the podcast. Um, and Austin Jones is uh, the guest speaker. Um, he's in his first full time position um, working with the New Jersey Devils. And he talks a lot about making small connections um, that you can use in a sales, quote unquote, sales pitch um, if you're trying to. So for him, as a New Jersey Devils sales rep, trying to get people to come to games, you know, striking up a conversation with somebody about hockey, whether or not, I mean, first of all, you have to like, you have to like hockey to come to a hockey game. If you don't like hockey, well, why not? Do you understand the game or do you just not enjoy it? Did you not have a good experience when you first went to a game? What What is the reason, you know? Um, finding um, something to connect with the person that you're trying to sell to is a, is a major key um, to kind of just get their guard down. Because if somebody's just trying to sell you something and they don't really know you or care about you or care about you enjoying the product that they're even selling, you're more than likely not going to want to buy. You're more than likely going to want to buy from someone who maybe knows you a little bit, kind of cares about you, cares about your experience when they sell you the product or or they sell you a ticket to an event, they want you to go to that event and enjoy that event. Um, that is important. So like he said, making uh, conversations uh, and connections with whoever um, you're selling to was my main uh, takeaway from this. I've kind of had a little experience with that. Um, I've been in sales, um, sales representative kind of uh, positions, not necessarily selling a single product, but being in a position where I'm talking to many people on, on a daily basis, um, getting to know them, um, even if it's for a slight second, um, if you get to know somebody and they're they're going through um, maybe a situation, and like if I was if I was a sales, you know, salesperson at CVS, and we're talk I'm talking to a customer that s says, oh, I'm I'm looking for this, but my experience with it last time wasn't that great. Well, oh, I know a different product that might help you better. You know, something like that. It's just being able to connect with the people uh, that you're selling to, I think, was the biggest takeaway for me. Because, you know, in my experience, like if you go to a mall and there's, you know, all those kiosk people, they're just they're just trying so hard. Just please try this perfect. Try this uh, skin care system or try this. It'll help you. I, how do you know it'll help me? How do you know? You don't even we haven't had a conversation. We haven't talked. So my guard is always up with those people. I'm walking dead past them directly, not even making eye contact. You know, certain things like that are important. So um, I'm excited to hear what you guys had to take away on this. Um, let me know how you thought about mine. Um, and yeah, have a good one.